hey guys, I apologize. This is a voiceover. We had some issues with the audio and we didn't really want to record again. So I'm going to coach you through this as I'm going through it. And we are going to focus on each mobility. So the way that I'm going to start is we're going to start from bottom up and we're going to start with the ankle circles. We're going to begin by pointing the toes away and bring them back towards you. Each circle is to your best of your ability. You're gonna do 10 to one side, and then you're gonna go back and do 10 to the other side. Now, if you need some assistance for balance, go ahead and grab a PVC pipe or a chair that's close to you. That way you won't be falling as you're moving these movements. So we're doing both sides. As you guys might remember, yesterday's assessment of mine, I had a little bit more to do or more work to do on my left side. So I am focusing a couple more repetitions on the left side itself. So again, we're going in one direction and then we're going 10 repetitions in the opposite direction. Now try not to move too much your hips and your knees. I know it's challenging, but try the best as you can. We're only going to get better in the next 30 days. Now we're done with our ankles. So we are now going to work with the anterior tibialis. This is working that dorsiflexion. So you're gonna stand on a staggered stance one leg is going to go forward, pushing through the heel, elevating those toes. Now you want to hold this between seven and five seconds, each time increasing the time that you're holding it. So the first couple of repetitions, we do five seconds. And the last couple of repetitions that you'll see, we're holding for about seven to eight seconds. Now by this time, you should start feeling that anterior portion of your leg starting to contract. Now, keep in mind as we switch sides that you want your hips to be straight, your knee locked out, and you want to be pushing through the heel. Don't just keep a soft knee or bend hip. We really wanna make sure that those toes and the muscle on the front of the leg is doing most of the work when we're working in dorsiflexion. We do a couple of repetitions. Again, we are holding this position between five and eight seconds, and we are holding more and more every repetition. So from here, we're going to go into our lunge position, just like yesterday. We are going to keep a soft leg on the back leg, so our ankle is not engaged, toe is not engaged, we're going to be working on our dorsiflexion here. So on a 90-90 position, I want to make sure that I am tracking that front leg over the toes. Now be careful, we want to keep the heel on the ground as much as possible. We do not want it to elevate. So <clears throat> we are going to lean forward on that leg, keeping our hips straight. We are hinging on the back knee and make sure that you are getting that knee over the toes. Drive the heel into the ground and hold for a couple of seconds. And then push slightly more as you are increasing that dorsiflexion. You should really feel like you're pushing away from the ground at this point. Now you're going to relax. We're going to switch sides. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in a 90-90 stance and we're going to lean that leg forward. Keep that heel driving into the ground. We're going to push here in just a couple of seconds and you're going to push into the ground for a good eight to 10 seconds. You want to really activate that leg almost as if you were going to stand up. 
Once you get that push, we're going to lean into it a little bit more and get that knee more over the toes. Remember to keep that heel down. Think driving the heel downwards rather than coming up on your toes. Again, each hold is about 10 seconds. So pretty much about 30 seconds per exercise here. Now I'm gonna show it to you from the side. We're gonna do it again one more time. So 90-90, leaning forward, hold it for 10. Now this is the ankle that I have more trouble with. So I'm gonna start pushing slightly earlier. Now keep in mind, don't rotate your hips or don't rotate your torso. Now keep pushing the heel down into the ground like if you're picking yourself up, but there should be no movement. This is an isometric exercise. Now after you push, lean forward a little bit more, keep that heel down. This should be hard. It should start feeling, you should start feeling it in the muscles. We're gonna switch sides. We're gonna do the same thing. Try to keep your balance. So we're going to lean slightly forward, go over past the toes, drive your heel into the ground, don't let it come up. If you let it come up, you're going too far. So bring it back, lean, 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 drive the heel down into the ground, activate your glutes, activate your legs, and then nice and easy, push a little bit further. Drive that heel, put some pressure on the knee if you need to. 10 seconds, and then come back. So now we started working on the ankles. We moved to the knees as well, right? So flexion of the knee. Now we're going to move into our hips. Now this next exercise, we're going to be in a one leg. And we're gonna be working on the hip flexors. Now the leg that's straight, we are going to be pushing through the ground. Glutes are squeezed, knees are locked, pushing through the heel. And our leg that is lifted is in a 90 position. Try not to hold on to it. You are actively pulling your knee to your chest and holding for about 15 seconds. So here we go, we're gonna do the other side. If you need to hold on to something, grab a broom or a chair that may allow you to hold your balance. But for the most part, try to really just focus on pushing through that leg, that's your balance leg, and lifting that leg as best as you can. As you can see here, my left side is my treble side, so it's not coming up as much as the right side. So we're, I am going to focus a little bit more, maybe holding two to three more seconds here. This is where I also lose my balance, so kind of working on my balance a little bit. Now you should start feeling this right at the hip crease. So if it's cramping, take a couple of seconds, maybe don't lift as much. But here we go, we're gonna do it again. We're trying not to lean to one side versus the other while we are on a single leg stance. So make sure you are staying active through all of these positions. You are doing the work, you're creating space between the joints and utilizing the muscles at the short range of motion. As you can see here, I'm starting to feel it a little bit more. My left leg is coming up a little higher than my right. So I'm pretty excited about this and pretty pumped. So here I'm trying to hold on to it, trying to give me just a little bit of assist. And here we go, feeling it. Now we're moving into our quarter squat. So we're gonna get our feet wider than usual. Don't point your toes straight. Keep them at about 35 to 45 degree angle of you. 
Again, don't keep your toes straight. Going down into a quarter squat, we're gonna hold this position. Don't let your knees cave in. We're gonna take our hands, and we're gonna press on the inside of our knees, giving us a little bit of an assist so that we can keep that external rotation at the hips, not at the knee. We're holding this position for 20 seconds. And coming back up. Now this position, you should be feeling it mostly on your quads, front of the quads, hips, and shouldn't be feeling it in your lower back. If you are, you're trying to keep a tall spine. So just give yourself a little bit of a break and don't try to keep that tall spine. So we're doing it again. Quarter squat, pushing against the inside of our knees. Don't let yourself win. And coming back up. Again, we are holding these positions for about 20 seconds. Now we're going to move into our spinal floss. So we're going to do some McKenzie press ups. Now these are going to be down on your belly. What I want you to focus on is keeping your hips as relaxed as possible. We don't want the glutes to be squeezed. You don't want your legs to be creating any force. And we are going to do a push up, but our hips are going to stay on the ground. Now, keep in mind if you can only do a quarter of a push up or a half a push up, that's totally fine. We are going to be increasing this range of motion as we go through the challenge. Now, here we're going to do 10 to 12 repetitions, and then we're going to take a small break. If you feel comfortable and you want to push the range of motion just so, then go ahead and do so. But keep in mind, this is the beginning, so take it easy. We're going to do it one more time. You can spread your legs just a little bit if you need to. Again, try to keep your hips and the lower body as relaxed as possible. They are not engaged. You're basically hinging at your pelvis. Now, if you can only do small range of motion like so, that's totally fine as well. Try to do as best as you can, push that range of motion without really too much of an effort today. 10 to 12 repetitions later, come back up. And we are almost done. We're gonna be finishing up with shoulder, circum shoulder circular motion. So, from a standing position, you're going to create tension through the rest of your body. You're gonna bring your first arm straight in front of you, create a punch like you're punching somebody in front of you. You're gonna push your shoulder forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. Now you're gonna repeat five times. Now keep that fist where it is in space. Try not to move it too much. If you need some help, go ahead and grab a PVC pipe or a broom so that you can plant it in front of you and it doesn't move anywhere. The only joint that you want to move at this point is your shoulder joint. And again, we are doing five repetitions one way and doing five repetitions the other way. Now I'm gonna show you from a side. So this is what it looks like from the side. We finished this repetitions and we will be done for the day. So again, tension through the rest of the body. As you can see, my fist barely moves from where it is in space. 
my shoulder is creating the whole movement. So forward, back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down, up, back, down. So that's all I have for today, guys. Time is up. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.